G'day guys, welcome back again. I'm going again with that same sort of oriental themed pour. Uh, same as the last one, but this time I've thickened my mix up to what I would normally use. So 70% glue, this is almost glue oil, and 30% water. And then I have mixed one part paint to one part pouring medium. So in my little cups I have 50 grams of pouring medium and 50 grams of paint. That's 100 grams of mixed paint in each cup. Seven cups, 700 grams for this 30 by 60 centimetre or 12 by 24 inch. So let's do three drops in each except for the white and I'm just going with the treadmill silicone as I always do. One, two, three. So I really enjoyed doing that last pour where I flipped and didn't torch, tilted to cover the whole canvas, then torch to bring up the cells. Although I wasn't that happy with the cell shape. The mix I felt was a little bit on the thin side so I didn't get that really nice round shape of cell that I long for. So that's why I've thickened it up back to what I normally do. So what I thought I'd do this time, because I still want biggish cells, and if I torch after I've fully tilted, then the cells are going to be really quite small because uh, the mix is thicker. So do you remember the sandwich pour that I did? I'll show it to you. This is the one where, oh, you might better see the whole thing because it's too long, but that's the one where I tilted to cover and then torched. So you can see how little the cells are because the mix was thicker. They couldn't really get any bigger. So I don't want them that small. So I'm going to tilt a little bit first. I won't cover the whole surface. I'm just going to tilt a little bit and then I'm going to torch. So bit of both I guess. <laughs> we'll see what happens. Okay, so three cups again, three layers. Put in my navy first. I'm using exactly the same colours as last time. That's my navy. This is my turquoise. It's called Peacock. It's a pale turquoise. And I really like it with the navy blue. And I'm going with the darker blue. This is my mid blue. This is uh, cool blue and cobalt mixed together. It gives me a lovely shade of blue, which I like. And then with the white. So the white is separating the cool colours from the warm colours. Because I don't want too much purple. A little bit's okay. Obviously the blue and the red will give me purple, but then the um, this yellowy colour with the blues give me green, which is okay in small doses, not too much of it. And my lovely red, so happy with this red. I mixed cool red with warm red and I've got a lovely shade of red, so I'm really happy with that one. And some orange on top of that because I don't want that dark red next to my navy blue. I don't mind the navy blue next to the orange though, so we'll go again with the navy on top of the orange because that looks pretty nice. Does everyone seem to like that pour that I did? I'm going to call it oriental because it's got sort of all those Japanesey colours and then the little bubbles of cells and then the the pretty flowers kind of looks oriental to me so that's what I'm calling it oriental pour <laughs> I don't know whether it's the colors probably is just the colors maybe the design as well as I said the cells with the flowers we want to find names for all these different pours don't we off that peacock. Feel free to fast forward if you don't want to see me layering colours. Although I might say something useful and then you'll miss it. 
Oh, maybe. <laughs> you never know. I try to say useful things as much as possible. But I am still learning with every pour. Trying different techniques and different pouring mediums. I'm really enjoying the glue and water pouring medium, so I'm not going back to the, the flow troll. Uh-uh. I'm liking this glue and water too much. And I haven't had any touch wood of my white split. Be interesting to see with this white because this is my thicker mix now. We'll see what happens with the white, if it's going to behave or whether it's going to split and curdle. see what happens. Righty, yellow again. How are my cups all looking? Hopefully they're all about the same. Even amounts of paint in them all. So I've got another workshop this weekend. Today's Thursday and I'm working tomorrow. So after this pour I'm going to Clean up, make a huge, well, two big batches of pouring medium, and I'm going to use in my workshop for the first time my glue and water mix. Because I've been so happy with it, so I'm going to share it with everybody, and uh, they can make some beautiful pours with the glue and water mix. Not that they haven't been making beautiful pours with the other mix, it's just, as I said, I had some problems with some of the colours splitting, and I haven't had that problem with the glue and water mix. I'm going to change over and see if everyone will be happy with their pores. That's the main thing. Hey, I want everyone to go home with a, two paintings that they love. They do a, a 30 by 40 centimetre first in either a ring pour or a, yeah, usually a ring pour generally. Uh, especially for those that have never poured before, just so they get to know two different techniques. So a 30 by 40 centimetre, which is 12 by 16 inch in a ring pour. Because it's the same ratio of paint to pouring medium. And they get to weigh everything and learn what the consistency feels like, which is important. I can't see the point of going for, to a workshop where your colours are already mixed and you leave there thinking, well, I still don't know any idea how to mix my paints and what the consistency should be because it's all done for me. So I like everyone to do it for themselves. Sisters are doing it for themselves. <laughs> now, where's my little bit there? Um, and then, yeah, you learn. And then you can take what you've learned from the workshop back to your own house and... Hopefully do beautiful pours at home too. I'll stack up some of these empty cups here. Now, shall I show you the colours again? I know you've just seen them in the other video. In case you missed that one, there's my red that I've made up. I told you about all these already. White, orange, peacock, warm yellow. I've got my dented container. I need a new container. Uh, that's Deep Space, the Navy, and my Blue, which is Cobalt and Cool Blue. Alright, move all those out of the way. I sprayed my cups. It's released already. Let's do it. And I'm going to drag like that so that I try not to get those messy bits. Ooh, stripies! Where did I go? Did I miss the messy bits? Yes! Woohoo! Trying hard not to get those messy bits. Alright, a bit of paint on the corner. Don't you run away, you cheeky paint. Come back. There we go. Back on there. Cells popping up already. You guys aren't supposed to pop up on your own, you know that. I'm going to put a little bit of this here. You guys aren't supposed to pop up just yet. You're supposed to wait. Alright. 
right. I had quite a big gap there, so leave that. Um, I'm going to pop a little bit on the corner here. Not much left. Coming out really slowly. Out you come, don't be shy. There we go. Pop over the corner. Alright, so those cups are empty. Right. I don't know why I've got cells already. You're not supposed to have cells already. That's alright. Now, normally, as you know, I would now torch, but I'm not going to. Let's see if we can get some of this surface covered. Even if I just get you know, half covered, I'll be happy with that. I don't want to lose too much off the side, but I do want to fill in those triangles. Let's cover that corner. So you're done. It's darker than the other one, isn't it? The last one. I don't want to lose all that orange off there, so let's just try and keep that. And go off that edge there. Okay. Beautiful. So half the canvas covered. And now I will torch. And you can see the shape of the cell, the ones that popped up on their own, they're a much better shape than the ones that popped up from the thinner mix where it was one and a half to one. Hopefully you can see the difference. And what I was trying to do sitting there I'm just going to fix my side down here I'm going to need a little bit of blue just there just while we're waiting for those cells to pop up because I don't need to tilt over this edge again and have you also noticed that I'm covering my edges without having to put extra paint down the side. You know when you've got paint left in your cup and you pour it down the side? And then you always get like this bendy line, which I really don't like. So that's why I've put my cups closer to the edges so that I can cover those without having the, that extra paint on the edges there. So that was another little trick that I've learned. Okay, um, I don't want too many cells. I wouldn't mind some more in just in the middle there though, but the rest of it I think is okay. Um, I am going to be balloon dipping into areas that I don't like, which is really great, isn't it? <laughs> you can, um, yeah cover your little mistakes or your caterpillars or your big blobs so and then you get a really beautiful result as well so it's a win-win situation isn't it all right now let's zigzag back and forth so as i said i already got two edges or two sides and two corners already covered which is great so we don't have to overstretch too much we go over to that corner beautiful oh, look at that wasn't that easy and I hardly overstretched anything admittedly my cells aren't as big as uh, you know they, they are on other pores but I wasn't after that 
for this pour. I was going for more of a smaller, little petite, pretty cell. And I think I have achieved it. It's looking a lot darker though than the other one was. I do like the red though. And the shading is really pretty. Happy with that. Happy with the cells. It's almost a shame to balloon dip, isn't it? Now, just move the composition to where I want it and then I can start dipping my blown up glove into the centre. Uh, I think I will just cover the corners though. Why not? Can't see around there. Have I done it? Can't see. I'll have to get around that side. Run my little tool under the edge, catch all those drips. White has stayed together, it has not split. Yay! Oh, it's really pretty, isn't it? Yeah, I'm happy with this. I like how the little cells have stayed relatively small and petite, as I said. It's not a huge canvas, the cells don't have to be massive. If you're doing a really big canvas, then yes, I think you can get away with bigger cells. And I didn't over torch, so I've still got some uh, blank areas. Although my blank areas are going to go soon because I'm going to balloon dip. So, have a look and see what areas you really don't like. So, straight off the bat, this blobby cell here. So, he will go. So, let's do him first. Um, and then we can think about what else we need to do. Um, I'm not sure whether, I'll have a look and see how this dip goes. Um, if I've got too much paint on the surface, because the paint is you know, quite thick, it's one to one ratio, so it's quite thick. Um, if I find I've got too much paint, I will stop the video. I'll go and sit down with my dogs and have a cuppa and maybe watch a movie and I'll come back to it and then do the dip once the paint's had a bit of a chance to settle, thicken up. So I'll see what happens. Grab my little, my glove that I've blown up. I like the glove because it's nice and spongy, it's really soft. I didn't blow it up all the way. <laughs> I like doing that. It's nice and soft. Sorry. Right, let's get this guy. I might try and get both of those together actually, so not come too close to the edge. I'll kind of go in between both of those, so I get both of those blobby ones. I might even move it over so that this one's involved as well. Let's see if I can do that in the middle of those three. And I'm not sure how much pressure to put down yet because I don't know how it's going to react. See, it's quite thick. The paint's quite thick. It's going like that. A lot of paint on the surface. And when I did that with the other one, I went over and redid it, didn't I? I did two, two dips to um, get rid of some of the paint. I've got my paper towel. Here we go. Get my paper towel to help clean up, keep the area nice and tidy. I can't believe how much darker it is than the other one. It's just because your paints are thicker, I guess, they stay more separate. Um, if your paints are thinner, they blend more, so, you know, a bit more lighter colours, I guess, come through. I'm going to go again on this same one and see what happens. And if I'm still not happy, I'm going to stop the video and then I'll come back to you in an, an hour or so. I'll push down and I might just do my little round and round and then back up. Yeah, it's still really quite thick, so mm, don't know what to do. What about if I just dip it really gently? I wonder how that would go. So I might dip again, but really gently. I can always come back later and re-dip this. It's not a problem. So don't think that, oh, you know, I've done it and that's it. You can always come back. 
Look at that little cell that's popped up. Um, 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 um. Where else? This blob here. I'll just do just a tiny little one just on the side there, just to cover him up. Just a really quick little one. Oh, no. <laughs> See how it's all dripped back on itself? I'm really going to have to wait, I think, until this paint's had a chance to settle. There's a lot of paint on the surface. I guess because it's thicker as well. So, 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 so. It's just not leaving a very defined flower because it's thin. I'll go again like I did with that one. See if that could, if I can improve it. Push it down, round, and back up. That's better. I bald. I made it bald on the side. You can see the canvas. All right. Maybe not get too close to your edge, eh? I'm going to have to put some paint there now. Actually, that's going to. It's going to show up, so what I'll do is I'll probably have to re-dip and kind of push it over the edge to cover that bald spot. So what do you think? Do you like this one better or do you like the other one better, the lighter coloured one? This one's got a lot more, certainly got green showing up. The red's more defined, which is nice. The cells are gorgeous. You've got to give it that. They are gorgeous. It's a little bit darker, though. Um, all right, I'm just going to see if I can get some of the paint to come over the edge. Mmm, kind of covered it. I don't know whether I'm making it better or worse. So you can kind of see the canvas through there now. I just have to leave it. I'm kind of making things muddy. Turn the balloon around. Okay, that one looks better. I'm going to leave it. I'm going to clean up my mess. Let the paint sit for a couple of hours. Might have to actually put some more paint on here where I've got too close to the edge and you can see the canvas come through there. Alright, so I'll stop the video. And um, I'll come back to you shortly. But so far it's looking really pretty, isn't it? Let's take you in for a close-up. How pretty is it? Cells are looking really good. Okay, I'll, um, I'll come back to you soon. an hour it's getting on in the afternoon and I really need to get this done I need to clean up and start prepping for the workshop so I'm just gonna go with it um, I would have liked to have waited another hour or so but I just don't really have the time to so just do it maybe next time I can tilt a little bit more paint off so it's a bit thinner on the surface maybe that's an option but uh, for now I'm just gonna go with this and I'm going to go again with this one over the top. Let's see what it does. Press down, back up. See the paint's getting a bit thin there now. I probably didn't need to go over that one again. Might not have been such a good idea. I might have to make up some more paint and plop some down there and um, fill in that little gap there now that I've made it or actually maybe what I can do is when I dip somewhere else dip back into there with the, the paint that's on the glove maybe that'll help yeah otherwise I'll have to make up more paint all right um, now where next shall I go um, well definitely here that's where I added that extra bit of paint because I had that big triangle of blank canvas so definitely in there but I don't want them three in a row, so I'm going to go up a bit and maybe incorporate that little caterpillary thing there. So let's do that one next. 
I'm going to push down and I'm going to go around in a circle and up. And I didn't realise, but that knot was touching. Oh, I shouldn't have wiped it. I was going to go there. The knot was touching in. It's another thing to think about. So many things to think about. And I forgot to turn my notifications off. Oh, dear. All right, let's get this done. I'm going to turn. I'm going to maybe hold on to the knot. That way I'm not going to dip it into my painting, hey? Right, the other one can be this blob here. He can go. And I'm going to use that leftover paint straight onto this one. Oh, I kind of missed. <laughs> I needed to go that way. That's all right. I'll go over them again. Okay, where next? I don't like this corner. It's a bit plain. Nothing much happening there. Bit of a wormy creature there. So let's get rid of that corner. And I'm holding on to the knot so that I don't dip it in to the painting. Now I've got paint on the other end of that. So I'm going to dip straight into this one again and make it a bit bigger. And hopefully cover up. All right, <laughs> that'll do. How many times have I dipped into that? It will do. Let's wipe the excess paint off. And I'm going to get a new piece of paper towel. Let's get rid of this one. Get another piece. Really know if it makes any difference in leaving the paint a bit longer I'm not sure I would have to leave it a good few hours I think for it to start drying uh, to see if it made any difference at all now this one I have to go over it again because it's also down to the canvas because I've dipped and dipped and dipped so I'll pick up some paint somewhere else and put it here um, I really love that bottom section <laughs> I don't really want to touch that at all. If anything, this, um, maybe this area here where it's going a little bit muddy and I can kind of incorporate that worm. So I like that corner, or just this area here, I'll try and hang on to that knot again. And I'll pick up that paint and transfer it here. Okay, that's kind of worked. Probably haven't made it big enough because you can see where the bigger flower was so I probably need to go again um, and dip onto that one and try and make it a little bit bigger I'm running out of places to dip I don't really want to dip down here because it's so pretty but I kind of have to just to balance it out I think it needs one more Where will we go? So I've got one, two, three there. Two, three there. It kind of needs one there and one there, but I don't really want to go over that. But oh, this bit here maybe, that's not as attractive. Just there. And then maybe in here. So I'm going to pick up some paint here and I'll transfer it over here and see if I can cover that whole big area because that was a big flower. All right, down we go. Dip and I'm going to go all the way around, make a little circle with it and up and come back straight over here and go round and... Okay. Yeah, it's better. I haven't um, incorporated that. I think it's fine. I don't think anyone will even notice that um, that balloon dip's not perfect. You know, the colours are all blending. I'm, I'm sure it'll be fine. Right, so now I probably need... Do I need one more? Maybe I can get away with not having one more. I've got a damp cloth over here on the side that I'm wiping my balloon off. Make sure that you've got your paper towel organised and you've got your wet cloth organised. Come and have a look at... From this side, I have to climb up my ladder and have a look at it from up here to see if it's balanced. It really does need something in this corner, doesn't it? Mm. A 
maybe just a little something, a little something here where that's going a little bit greeny. Maybe something just there, just a little one. Just there to balance that corner because that corner's got nothing in it. Oh, I don't really want to, but just a tiny one, eh? How's that? All right, just to even it up. And that will do. Okay, loving it. Do you want to show you the other one that I did before this? And you can see which one you prefer. The other one was the Finamix. I'll go and grab it. It's a bit brighter. Oh, I'm going to knock my tripod over. It's a bit brighter because um, I don't really know why. A little bit lighter in colour, I think. But the cell shape, you have a look at the cells, not the flowers, the cells aren't as good. Can you see the difference? That's the Thinamix, one and a half pouring medium to one paint and one to one. So that one definitely is more attractive, I find. I'm just going to put this guy back. Um, now, let me check my sides. Run under with the tool. So I'm really happy with this one. Really, really happy with it. Love it. They'll make a nice set, actually. Anybody want to buy both of them? Let me know. <laughs> you can just message me or you can talk to me through one of the pouring groups. So, love, love, love this. I really do. Gorgeous. Look at that flower there. The nice distinct petals. This one, they're a little bit more blurred. So these are the newer ones, aren't they, that I, when I left the paint, sit for a bit. Mm. You can still see that bit of a stripe there where I poured that extra paint on. It kind of looks like it's a continuation of the flowers running through. I don't think it's a bad thing. And this little petal's got a white ring around the edge. It looks like a, a cell. So, really pretty. Let me take you in for a close-up. I love that red going through the centre. That's what I missed on my previous one. It was a little bit too orange. Like I didn't really show the red very much. Maybe because I've made this mix thicker, the um, red's really standing out more. So there it is. Oh, there's that annoying light again. There it is from my side. And I will take you up from the bottom. Because I think it's a nice way to see the whole section at one time. All right, so there's the bottom. Got some really pretty cells there, haven't we? Nice rings around them. We'll go up. I'll try and hold the camera still. Nice rings there around those cells. Pretty balloon dips there. And there's that nice red section in the middle. I actually did make up a little bit of extra red for this pour. It was only an extra uh, 20 grams, I think. So maybe that's why I'm getting a little bit more of a red hit through there. And those cells there are the bomb. Look at those cells, those rings around them. So pretty. And then this flower, the one on the top, top right, that's the one I had trouble with, but I think I saved him in the end. Once he's dry, he'll be fine. But just beautiful. I'm so happy with that. So watch this space. I'll be doing more of these pours. I think this style um, and technique would be quite easy to achieve on a big canvas. Because, you know, when you're doing a really big canvas, you struggle because you flip and then you torch and then you have to over tilt to cover the whole canvas but if you do what I've just done and flip and cover most of the surface and then torch then you don't risk 
as much uh, losing all your cells and I think you could get away with doing quite a large canvas and it's so pretty isn't it you've got background you've got cells you've got beautiful flowers it's really interesting and there's lines you know there's the stripes it's really really pretty so I'm gonna um, continue with this and see where it takes me so yeah from my humble beginnings of flip cups to my dips to now combining the two together the flip cups and the dips so yeah really happy with that so thanks for watching please like and subscribe and share my videos I'd like to get them all out there a little bit more and um, hit the little bell so that when I do a, a new video you'll be notified um, the acrylic pouring group on Facebook um, I used to put up links for videos there and they don't like us putting links up so if you see a photo of my paw um, and I don't answer your question about the video don't think I'm ignoring you um, just pop onto my YouTube channel and you'll no doubt find it the day after so just watch out for it there okay love you all I'll see you soon bye for now